Alright, so I have come into World 2 2 because I thought I would show you how I like to kill a uh, flame lurker in my extremely cheap and easy way. Got the cart, got the cart coming down here, see? Those things will blow off when you get closer. Now in here, you'll find a lot of enemies that want to aggro on you, and a lot of those that do not. So be careful for you attacking them. Oh my god. Okay. Um, I didn't expect everyone to attack me. Oh, this is special. Not if you want this region kind of proper life as well. Okay. I also now have to be careful not to get dragged back all the way to the beginning. That actually staggering me as well. It's a piece of me, I guess. Oh, this has been interesting. This guy seems to have really strange eyebrow on them. Holy moly. If you don't want to fight these guys, you can just run through. I was hoping to get some great stone off uh, one or two of them. See if I can get great on Bastard Sword. It could be a crushing Bastard Sword. So we are. I'm just going to finish this guy off. Alright. Oh, he'll never have to do this picture. Okay, well, once you've uh, muscled your way through them. Yeah. 
can be just remembering uh, every place to go here. So both. I should stand here. And then I think it's down here. I guess again. Through that tunnel, um, I think we get attacked by two black phantoms. I'm not convinced that I could kill them all. Oh, it's close. Okay. And then, um, uh, we'll do that. These tunnels, um, you can't follow them. The stuff is actually surprisingly big. But if you want to just go to flame work, like I think I'm going to do, uh, just heading straight down is the easiest way. So you know all the big rock worms. Left, um, it's two, it's a fist weapon, or well, two fist weapons down there. Don't want them. There's also a couple of uh, rock worms at the pop up. So, uh, that's the items. Um, let's see if I can do this. I'm going to be using the, uh, Killing him with a bow because his pathfinding ability is terrible. Trick. Okay. I might not be able to do this first time around, but we'll see. Now this is one seriously intimidating boss, possibly one of the toughest in the whole game. If you've got a fog ring on, possibly uh, even if you don't, he won't aggro on you straight away. So what you need to do is get his attention, and what I'm going to try and do is I'm going to get him to come around here, and I'm going to go over here, and while he's running at me, I'm going to be shooting over the top of this. Hitting you, and he should keep running straight into the uh, first one. But first is the uh, risky part where we get Flame Lurker to run after us. <laughs> Now, this uh, is probably going to take a while. Make sure you stay back while you're doing this. I, uh, be cautious when he does start to come around. If he does, just drag him back. Oh. 
possibly be able to attack you from that side. If you can do more damage with the bow, then that's going to serve you well. Make sure you've got lots of arrows. I mean, I think I, uh, I think I'll be able to kill it. Just dragging from side to side as need be. Oh yeah, I'm definitely gonna have to speed this video. Now I believe if you're using your long weapon like a spear, you can also hit him with that. Through here, you just have to be a little more cautious because his big AOE attacks will hit you. It is a boring way of killing him, but it's a very safe way. And if, like me, you're not a magic based character, you'll find melee does a uh, pitiful amount of damage on him, as you can see by my arrow is. So this fight can take a while, regardless. And there we are, Flamer, Flamer, taken down by a man with no top on. Alright, I'll just go straight ahead and do the Dragon God next, so I'll see you for that one.